Okay, hello, my name is Kurt Von Behrman. I'm an artist, writer in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm looking to do a show about bipolar disorder, and I'm looking to raise funds to help put the show together. It's already been scheduled for January of 2015, so we have a venue. Actually, it's going to be at the very prestigious Schemer Arts Center, and I'm very pleased about that, and in fact, there's going to be a second exhibition in Scottsdale, Arizona at an architectural firm. So this is a big deal. I'm really thrilled about that. As far as my background, went to Cranbrook, studied at the Art Academy of Cincinnati. I've had a number of shows. I also teach art. So right now I'm looking for funds to finance the creation of the show. And in a few seconds I'll give you a tour of the studio so you can see where I've been and what I've done. It's one of those necessary... You know, when the Iraq war broke out, I created that painting because I thought, you know, I'm going to all these shows, why isn't anybody talking about the war? You know, people are coming back like the invisible people. You know, nobody's looking at them. You know, we don't see the bodies coming the back. Again, painting Because I really love Egon Sheila, and naturally I couldn't afford one. I don't think anybody can afford his painting, but I wanted to have something that was like his because I loved his imagery with the human figure. But I thought, I can't just wholesale copy from him, so I need to make changes. So I made quite a few changes to the figure what was almost like stained glass. But I want to consider every inch of the canvas. You know, and I want to leave every element so that everything that made it up is still there. And quite often I'll switch them, like I'll be working on them, and I'll switch them upside down so that some areas are easier to access. Because sometimes if you work a certain way, you don't think about the bottom, you just kind of, I'll just let it go. And I'm like, no, I don't want to ever do that anymore. So I want to turn the canvas up so I'm actually working on it. And it's really kind of great when you flip the canvases because it gives you a new direction, you focus on different things, whereas if you work on a canvas and you're just looking at it from that vantage point, you don't really see other elements. That's an Egon Sheila painting too, but for some reason it evolved into something quite different, and her face became almost doll-like, rather than an actual face, it had almost like a doll-like face too, and his is just totally distorted by time, so there was that dichotomy between an older face versus a younger face. So that's when I said, you know, I'm gonna break into these brushes. 